qui suis-je Je, je m'appelle André Lacroix. Je suis un professeur de l'enseignement secondaire retraité depuis de très nombreuses années. I will give you a quick translation in English of what our friend André just exposed. So he's a retired professor, Belgian professor, uh, that for about a quarter of us, uh, sorry, that for about 25 years has got a very, very keen interest in China. Um, in fact, when his daughter was about 12 years old, somehow she convinced her parents that she wanted to study China, the Chinese. And you, to her studies, many years later, after she graduated, her parents accompanied her to China and visited several regions, including Xinjiang, Yunnan, uh, Gansu, Sichuan, uh, where Tibetan actually constitute quite an important minority. However, at that time, André and his wife was a, were extremely surprised because according to what they had read many times in little publications like The Lonely Planet, there was actually an atrocious crime on Tibetan culture. That culture was eradicated. However, this is absolutely not what they had seen. They had seen monasteries being rebuilt, people singing and dancing in the streets, monks chanting mantras everywhere. And coming back from this realization, André suddenly got a very keen renewal of his interest in China and studied Tibet. Later, in 2008, he actually came into contact with the memoirs of Tashit Sering uh, and was able to meet him a bit later. Tashit Sering was a uneducated Tibetan peasant. And you, to life circumstance, studied, became educated, and began the realization of a trilingual the, um, dictionary. Please excuse my translation because I'm actually reading the French document. <laughs> <laughs> so, he also came into contact with um, Tashit Sering, if I'm not mistaken, in 2009. Uh, and uh, a bit later, in 2012, came to actually visit him in Tibet and uh, was able to also see his progress and the creation of a little school that was actually created in a village in Ilesa. According to Tashit Sering, when he arrived in Europe, he did not really understand the culture that he just left, but came to realize that, not unlike many civilizations, in Europe, we came from an heritage of a medieval theocracy. And he was extremely surprised that for the rest of the world, this medieval theocracy was over. And therefore came to the realization that according to him and according to many Tibetans, a medieval theocracy was still in place or used to be in place. However, also according to this gentleman, he was able to participate in the modernization of Tibet. He, take, he took a lot of pleasure in helping for the realization of more than 50 schools and continue to work on the realization of his dictionary. However, unfortunately, he deceased in 2014. Now, a little bit more on André. If you may be interested in 
some of his publication, he published in French a little pamphlet. It's a play word on something very common in Tibet, but he called it in French, Taram Sadad. Uh, if you're also really interested, there's a little list of publications from Henri and some uh, of his friends. Um, Mr. Ettinger, uh, Madame Elizabeth Martens, and of course, Henri Lacroix. As a personal comment, I'd like to say that I am very happy to having met Henri Lacroix as well as other people that have a totally different an opposed opinion on Tibet. It is not only necessary, but extremely important for us to be able to study reality rather than a built fiction. Thank you very much. <laughs>